Welcome back to Cyber Sea of Galilee BSMME on this Monday, June 28th. And I have with me today a very special sister. All my sisters are special, but she's also worked with me in the vocation office. So that just makes my heart more fond and than um, I can express because of all the work that she has done. But in any case, Sister Irenaeus, why is today so special for you that you are literally glowing? It is the feast day of my patron saint, Saint <laughs> Irenaeus. So Saint Irenaeus, he lived about the year 130 to 202 when he was martyred as a missionary in France. And so he was just a couple generations after the time of Jesus. So he was, a, follow me on this, he was a student of St. Polycarp, who was, a, who was a disciple of St. John, the apostle. Wow, that's pretty direct. Yes. Yeah. So he, And he used that as his reasoning when he was preaching the truth of like, I learned this from people who learned it from the apostles themselves. Like a grandson spiritually to St. John. Yes. Who rested cool. on the heart of Jesus. Yeah. And one of the things that he talked a lot about um, in that, so this is the late 100s, um, was this idea of Mary as the new Eve. And some people have heard of, there's a, a devotion called Mary Undoer of Knots. Yes. And there's an Im it's an image of Our Lady holding a rope and one end of the rope has lots of knots and then the other end is all, like all worked out. And so he came up with this phrase that even her disobedience tied a knot and in Mary and her obedience untied that knot, opening Beautiful. the way to salvation for all mankind. Beautiful. Was he brilliant? I think he was. <laughs> <laughs> and, Doctor of the church? Well, actually not officially, but there's currently a proposal that that gets worked out. But because he's a martyr, for a long time they didn't ever put martyrs as doctors of church because being a martyr is better. But actually, we kind of think he's both. Yes. <laughs> well, why would we say that he really is also kind of, anyway, a, a doctor of the church? Well, because he wrote some of really the first theology and catechisms in the church in those late 100s, trying to clarify and explain and make different, um, draw like out the nuances of the faith in a time when it was being attacked by the Gnostics when they had these kind of like weird crazy out there ideas uh -huh. but he just clarified a lot of things and he was also very direct so his book is called Against the Heretics. There. That's a creative title. Yes. <laughs> Makes you want to read this. <laughs> How did he die again? So he was a martyr in France. So. And what drew your heart to him so specially? I, so his teaching on Mary as the new Eve, he also talked about the Eucharist, the papacy. And my little story is that when I was a postulant and we were studying the catechism, a lot of the things of the, of the faith, some of them I was actually honestly hearing for the first time that I had never studied. And he's in lots of the, lots of the paragraphs at the beginning of the catechism. So I just prayed to him to help me have an understanding heart. And he did. Sister, that's beautiful. <laughs> Sister came to us from Purdue University, but her specialty at that point was not theology necessarily. <laughs> but at the same time, you certainly had a heart on fire for Christ, and you always have. So thank you so much, and blessed feast day, sister. Thank we you, will sister. celebrate all day long. Let's and have you a party. make sure we will have many parties, <laughs> and make sure you do the same. Signing off from Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSMMA.